But first, more disturbing and scandal-laden news involving disgraced rookie Republican Congressman George Santos from Long Island. And tonight, Santos faced with a damning new report by the House Ethics Committee, announcing now he won't run for another term next year. The report says he blatantly stole campaign funds to pay for personal expenses, $1,500 for Botox treatment, $6,000 to buy high fashion items from Ferragamo, and spent $800 at a casino. Now, a new push to oust Santos from the House. With the lead story tonight, Long Island reporter Shante Lanz live in Douglaston, Queens, at Santos' district office. Shante. Well, Bill and Liz, Congressman George Santos has not been to his district office at all here today. Meanwhile, House Speaker Mike Johnson is encouraging all Congress members to consider the best interests of this country. This, as Congressman Santos is facing a possible expulsion and a federal trial based on a 23 count indictment. Embattled Long Island Congressman George Santos thrusted into the hot seat tonight, announcing he is no longer seeking re-election. This after a bombshell House Ethics Committee report finding evidence that Santos stole from donors and used campaign money for Botox, personal trips to Las Vegas and Atlantic City, shopping, and even for the adult website OnlyFans. The money meant for his campaign allegedly used to pay down his personal debts and his rent. Congressman Andrew Garbarino, representing Suffolk County, is on the House Ethics Committee. I'm still shocked with what came out, uh, what we were able to uh, uncover in the investigation. Santos last speaking on Capitol Hill shortly before the report's release. I will take whatever comes my way the way it comes. I have no concerns and I don't have any premeditated uh, feelings on, on this. The report does not recommend expelling Santos from office, but House Ethics Committee Chair Michael Guest today saying he's now ready to bring a resolution to make it happen. I do expect that there will probably be another motion to uh, expel uh, Mr. Santos. Santos firing back after the report released, tweeting if there was a single ounce of ethics in the ethics committee, they would have not released this biased report. From Capitol Hill to New York State Capitol, Governor Kathy Hochul is now calling on the freshman Republican rep to resign. And as the governor of the state who actually needs members of Congress who are focused on doing their jobs and delivering for New York, I'm calling on him to resign. All three of Santos's Republican congressional colleagues on Long Island are saying to step down or get expelled. I would certainly uh, support uh, expulsion again. Long Island Rep Anthony D. Esposito introduced a resolution to expel Santos two weeks ago. It's a sad day. I mean, but uh, it's everything that uh, we had expected. Democrat Robert Zimmerman lost to Santos in the congressional race. The real issue is why the Republicans in Congress have protected him for the past year. As Santos announces, he's no longer seeking re-election. Tom Swazi, a Democrat who last held Santos's district seat, is planning to run again. I think it's been a real embarrassment. Uh, it's been a, a it's been hurtful to the American system. And Long Island Congressman Andrew Garbarino tells me that a vote to expel Santos could happen as soon as the end of this month.